What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about what is the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Uh, a lot of people get them both confused and a lot of people think that they're the same owner. So and actually come to find out it's actually not the same owner. Uh, WordPress.org is actually open sourced so that means there's a ton of people getting involved to make this better. Uh, let's see here. So you can actually join the team and go ahead and, and help these guys make WordPress.org better than it is today. So let's talk about WordPress.com here. Um, this is WordPress.com. Basically, WordPress.com took WordPress.org, a free open source tool, and put a price tag on it. So now instead of using wordpress.org for free and only paying for the hosting services uh, which could be maybe like a hundred dollars a year as well um, we have this so they're they're packaging in the hosting and they're what we call splintering the um the the, pa the backups and premium themes here so it looks like they, they might have some value here with premium themes here. I, I've never looked at the themes. I, I don't trust them. Um, basically, what happens here is you can, you can buy your own domain on WordPress.com, but you don't have nearly as much functionality as WordPress.org here. So you can download your website. If you don't even want to host you know where you're hosting now, you can download it, put it on your computer. You can make duplicates. You can do whatever the hell you want. You can put plugins in there you can you can mess with everything you can go into the into the PHP files diddle around there uh, it's it's yours to to make you know build create break whatever you want to do uh, here not so much it's very canned you're very limited to what you can do and it is splintered so that's really the difference here um, and I think found a really cool article actually it just came up here is WP is dot not WP um, so it actually tells you exactly the differences here um, so it, it's it's really cool if you want to look at it go ahead and check it out I'll leave the link in the description uh, this is also interesting here WordPress still powers 36 percent of the web so if you're thinking about getting into coding or going to Webflow or going to any other type of service or, or Wix or Squarespace, I, I would learn learn WordPress.org first. And uh, if you're interested in learning WordPress.org, uh, we have a ton of free content on Puzzles Pro Tips, this channel here. So subscribe, check out the videos, tell me what you think because we're just pumping them out, boys. We're pumping them out.